we have been working together for a long time, uh, collaborating in uh, making some of the ideas that uh, we talk about now really to implement those things in concrete terms. Uh, let me mention some of the things that we were talking about. Uh, I think middle of 90s, one of the issues that I was facing after seeing the success of the uh, ICT, I'm saying that in June, what we have to do is we have to develop a, a, an Aladdin's lamp, the Arabian Nights uh, story, where uh, a poor woman in Bangladesh, uh, she will have the Aladdin lamps in her hand, and she will rub that Aladdin's lamp, as the story tells, and the digital genie will come out of it and tell the lady, that, what can I do for you, ma'am? And she'll say, I'm sick, and I need some medication. I need doctor's attention so that I can overcome my problem. And it will be done. And immediately, Jeannie will make an arrangement to uh, contact the doctors, and the doctor will be talking to the poor women, and all the treatment will be delivered. She will be feeling well very soon. And that is something that uh, felt like something remote, something it's not time yet to happen. Now recently I was saying that Aladdin lamps already in our hand. By looking at the smartphones, uh, you look at the screen, you look at the icons, you touch it, digital genie comes up and say you want to find out what the temperature is, what the weather is, what this, tells you where your location is, in the GPS and so on, it tells you everything. It tells you, it gets you into uh, Wikipedia, whatever you want to know. So it's all touch and you're done. You're connected, you have uh, resolved that. Probably all the icons are already there. So it's us to develop all those applications for this poor women. Because you don't have to be a literate person to get the icon. Because that's the number one condition that uh, um, food has to be fulfilled, then uh, telecommunication helps us that way because it's a voice command. It's a, uh, uh, our touch screen. So you can do lots of things, uh, almost everything that you need to do with that kind of thing. And my present idea is, or uh, hope is, uh, or the direction, the way technology is moving, mm. almost everything about life will be done with this little gadget. Today, what we are calling mobile phone, actually, the word phone will become irrelevant. It will be everything. You will call it computer, you call it uh, uh, healthcare, you call it uh, education, you call it anything. It's here, it's this tiny little thing will get you everything that you deserve, or you want, you deserve, you desire, you wish. So this is the direction which I think we should be putting all our efforts so that we make this happen make this uh, happen quickly. It will happen ultimately, but if we make our efforts, it will happen very quickly, immediately. So that's the te power of technology that we, that we see in our hand right now. And we didn't know in 1996 or 97 when we were launching the Gamit mm, phone, at that time half a million telephones in the country, uh, all landline telephones, hardly any mobile phones. It's such a dramatic change will come to Bangladesh in terms of telecommunication. Today, out of the population of 150 million, half the population have now telephones. So penetration is total in whole country. There is no single spot where you say uh, you have a weak signal or something. This is a signal that's fully uh, incapable signals everywhere. And you go anywhere, people have telephones. When the internet started coming again, this is late 90s, that's when <clears throat> our internet service is coming to Bangladesh. We have such a difficult time to sending an email from Bangladesh because we didn't have any satellite delivery system. We have to send it to Singapore. And during the daytime, we send it four times, probably two times a day, bulk mails to everybody to go to Singapore. And from Singapore, it will be distributed. So that's where our journey came. Today, every single village has that because mobile phone is also internet. 
So you don't have any separate I, uh, internet service provider uh, who can set up a shop with the uh, dish, uh, dish and everything else. You don't need it anymore because the mobile phone itself serves all your needs. So when you have the mobile phone with internet, whatever you desire now can be delivered. And now the broadband is coming. So with the broadband internet connection in your hand, you imagine anything you want to do, you can be delivered. So there comes, let's concentrate on the healthcare services. Healthcare services has to be re completely redesigned now. Because the same old healthcare will become very irrelevant. With the access of internet, with the access of uh, uh, telephones, information technology, uh, everything that we do has to be redesigned to fit the technology because technology will make it much easier. Uh, whether education will be delivered in the same way that we did, we have to build the schools, we have to have teachers, we have to have classrooms. Uh, again, we'll be thinking whether we really need that or it will be kind of supplementary to not the real thing. Because real thing will be now on the internet because you have such a quick access. Now, when we talk here, maybe we are talking to thousand other campuses, if there are campuses, at the same time. And they may be sending questions to you, uh, the uh, teacher or whatever, uh, lecturer, uh, to ask, uh, answer those questions. So in that situation, what will be the healthcare? And you would say that, uh, precisely that healthcare has to be delivered at home. It's not something clinic-based healthcare that we are talking about. So we are trying to put these things together piece by piece. Telemedicine is, sounds like it's something separate uh, item in the healthcare service. So that gives a wrong impression. It's the entire healthcare, self, healthcare service, if you want to use the word telemedicine, it will be telemedicine or e-health, whatever you call it, because not a single piece will be left. Now, one of the things that we are trying in our way is to provide the phone is not working, I guess it's not. We are talking about <laughs> telecommunication. <laughs> Having a difficult time. Yeah. So we will have. Yeah? It's okay. Uh, so we'll have uh, this delivery. One of the things that we are trying is the diagnostic services, for example. Forget about the doctors now. If you can do the diagnostic services with the telephones and everything else in the villages. So essential part of health service has already done. We started doing this piece by piece. For example, one of the things we did early on is to do the pathological services. Like you have the stool, urine, and all the slides are made, and take the mobile phone, put the, uh, take the picture, and send it out right away with the MMS and everything. You don't need any extra efforts. Just a question of taking, making a slide. It's a simple slide. Then you have a beautiful slide uh, picture made by your mobile phone. This is not an extraordinary mobile phone, just an ordinary mobile phone. You take the picture, immediately send it to the place where the pathologist is sitting there in front of this kind of beautiful slide. You see everything, you combine whatever it is. And it's done very simply, very easily. You don't need a whole clinic to sit around, sit around in the village for pathological, pathological case. And we started doing the blood samples with the mobile phones. So malaria test, testing for malaria and so on is very easy. Many of these are simple separate items for that. One of the latest things that we have done, we challenged the health, the G, the General Electric Health Services, saying that look, all the ultrasonic equipments are so complicated, so expensive. Uh, why don't we make the ultrasono in a, such a simple tablet? very light, very simple, so that we can carry around in the villages young girls trained to do the ultrasono for every single pregnant mother, so that we can reduce the maternal death by identifying the risky pregnancies, very simple. So now we are training those young girls. They are taking it around and making this. Once you take the images in the ultrasono that you have now, which General Electric has developed for us, a very simple one, all you have to do, plug in the mobile phone and send the images. But unfortunately, we don't have the broadband yet. We have to wait. So we have to go to the next stop with we'll the broadband connectivity or the computer. You send the images, and the specialist in the city can tell you what is the status of the, of, uh, the mother and can talk to the mother 
at the same time, uh, what precautions she should be taking on that as well. We are working with uh, uh, Intel Corporation, uh, doing very simple, again, uh, testing the risking pregnancies. There are 20 questions in the software. So all we have to do, collect the information of these 20 questions, very simple question, pregnant mother can t answer this question about her uh, responses and so on. Once you get these 20 answers, so computer, uh, sorry, software immediately tells you whether it's a risky pregnancy, whether it's a uh, normal pregnancy, whether it's in between pregnancy, so that you can identify risky pregnancies and so on. So you have enormous varieties of things to do. It can be delivered at home. And I was very uh, excited when uh, this uh, uh, epidemic going on in the world and uh, in the airport, as you go out of the airport, uh, you pass through a kind of a sensor to check wh what, whether you have high fever. I said, my goodness, I walk through it and they tell you that whether I have high fever or not is such a simple thing. Uh, if you can test it, you can use this technology for many other things. Uh, why can't we use it as a healthcare service in general, not for a special ground sort of things? So there are varieties of ways to redirect our attention to that technology because now we have the internet to every, every person, we have the mobile phone to every person. So life should not be the same way again. So we have to see the post, if you draw the line in the uh, chronology of it, you draw a line, all the things that we developed so far become obsolete from this period. And we have to develop completely new thing now, rather than just minor adjustment here and minor adjustment here. We have to move very fast because technology is moving fast. We have to take advantage of that technology so that we can overcome all the problems that we have, the healthcare problems and all the poverty problems, and the, using that uh, uh, Aladdin's lamp in the right proper way so that she says that I cannot sell my product. I produced all this stuff. Nobody buys my product. And the digital genie says, don't worry, I'll sell you all the product, wherever it takes. And it can be done. Already this is done in a different context. But nobody thought we can put it in a mobile phone so that every woman uh, or every man who has a uh, marketing problem in the village, whether it's an agricultural produce, whether it's an internet produce, you use this system so that we can dispose of everything and get the best price, best price possible. So there are many ways this technology not only uh, extended our position, it transforms our position. So that transformation process is the most important thing. We shouldn't be thinking the old style way. We should be thinking in a completely new way because today when you're doing things immediately, you pick up your phone from the pocket and start talking to the other guy. Tomorrow you'll be not only talking, you'll be seeing the picture as you talk because this is the technology already there, just simply putting it together. And you mentioned about the African situation that the less density, thinly populated people, this problem will also disappear because it's the question that is thinly populated population uh, creates is that base station becomes so many, it becomes too expensive, prohibitively expensive. We are taking for granted the base station technology will remain the same. Base station technology will become so simple that it doesn't matter how many miles you are going. It doesn't cost you anything. So this is the, provided we put our mind into it. That leads me to the question of social business. What is that? What is the social business? 